Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play of Super Metroid Hydelius. In the last episode, we were in the fire unit and got ourselves the ice beam. Pretty nice. But in this episode, if things go well, we'll be getting two upgrades. I say if, so don't, you know, say ah, Steel's saying two and he didn't get two. I'll try. Now before we go, let me open this door. We'll be coming back to that incredibly later. I just want to have it open. <clears throat> so let's go get our prize, I guess. Yeah. It's going to be an it's going to be an okay prize, I guess. I doubt we'll get the two up the two things in this video though, but I'll try. So let's make our way back down this shaft. Has a lot of platforms in it. It's kind of quicker to travel through, if anything. When you're going up, rather than down. Heck, there's even a better way once we get a Slater upgrade. Because normally you can just use your Morph Ball and go like this and bounce through it really fast. But there's another upgrade that'll let us get through at light speed. Anyways, I'm trying to remember where we go. Got that guy. Yeah, I know. I think I know where we need to go. It's not it's really hard to remember all this crap. It really is. And of course, I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I am. <clears throat> yeah, apologies. It's been a little bit. I should have practiced this a little more. I know. <sighs> again. I know where we need to go, actually. Or I can fall down and fail. Alright, come on. Enough messing up. Let's do this correctly. There we go. Yeah, I remember now. So I know we just got our power bombs not too recently. You know, once they get start playing this again, it'll, you know, the memories will come flooding back. This is just a tiny hit. This that was just a tiny hiccup and everything. It won't happen again. So let's get going to the sand cliffs because that's where we want to head to. Because we kind of have no choice because the game won't wants us to loop around. So if you're not a huge fan of backtracking, you won't love this because we got to go all the way around just to get to where we need to go. As I said, we get upgrades and power-ups along the way, so it's not a big deal, to me at least, because see, it's just a little missile pack, but it's nice to have, only gives us one, but nonetheless, nice to have. Yeah, I'm still sick, by the way, which really sucks, I can't shake this thing. The voice isn't as deep as it was before. Oh, I can still go that low. <clears throat> Anyways, let's go down into the sand cliffs. Yeah, it's kind of strange. It's raining down here, yet it's not up there. The only explanation I could come up with is if you were above the cloud line or whatever, you know, we're above the clouds. <coughs> but that's not the case. Yeah, sorry, my throat's a little sticky. Anyways, when you go through here, have your missiles ready. Though, we can't avoid this. Yeah, I got hit. I was trying to avoid pain, but pain said no. You get hurt. Anyways, and here we have the map station. Not too shabby. With that, we can see this place really is called the Sand Cliffs, if you didn't believe me before. Well, there you go. Alright, with that, we can continue onwards to get more goodies. That's not very nice, you giant side hopper. Samus just wants to chat with you. Painfully. She wants to talk to you missile to missile. 
Alrighty, there's a little pout. There's a expansion this way we couldn't get before. But now we can, that way we have bombs. And that is, where is it? There it is. A missile pack. And this one gives us another whopping one. Yay. Fantastic. Sarcasm ahoy. Wait, what? Ignore that, it didn't make any sense. Sarcasm ahoy. Or is I supposed to say sarcasm ho? No, I said it wrong. And I've disappointed everyone now. I am not sorry about this. Because it wasn't a big deal. Alrighty, let's jump over these spikes. You don't want to get hit by them. Very a suit or not, those still hurt. Because this suit reduces damage by 50%. And because of something I learned, the suits are bugged. Normally, each suit has to be on to uh, reduce the damage, the Varia doing 50, and the gravity suit doing 25%. You know, because it's supposed to be an extra upgrade, not a super power-up. No, in this game, you can have the Varia suit off, and you'll still get the full 75% reduction in damage taken. Ain't that something? That's not exclusive to this game, no, that's just a bug in the game. The bug in Super Metroid in general. Someone actually made a patch that fixes it. Because the very suit isn't normally supposed to be immune to heated rooms and stuff. But no, they, for some reason, bugged it out. It's like, whatever. Anyways, if we head up here, bomb this spot, we get missiles. And this one's worth a whopping one. Isn't that delicious? It's not. Alrighty, let's make our way through here some more. We got more goodies to collect on the way. In this giant roundabout, this big old circle. Hey, let's jump on through here because we couldn't get this earlier. It's another missile pack. I think that gave us one. How tasty. How spicy. How mildly flavorful. I hate you bugs. I always get hit by you. I suck. You guys laugh at my misfortune. And then I cry in a corner, sucking my thumb. No, I don't do that. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. You sick bastards. Anyways, drop a power bomb here because this actually is a really nice expansion. If we head down here, Shoot this up. Remember how I said power bomb expansions only gave one? Well, this one's the exception. If we collect it, bam, that one gave two. That's a step up from the original one. That's a fucking rebel right there. We got a rebel right here, an underdog or whatever. It doesn't play by the rules. It gave me two. What up, Spore Spawn? Still dead. Still ruining the environment in this one room and only one room. What a dick. Alrighty, back through this area where we got the. where we came by that one gate. No. You did not hit Samus yet. Samus does not want the pain. No one wants the pain. Pain hurts. Especially when it's emotional. All right, take care of these. Di that dude, blast through the floor. There's the green gate. We still can't. I'm the red gate. We still can't get that. Not for a while. For one, we need a certain weapon upgrade and a missile upgrade. Lots of upgrades needed. We don't have those yet, so oh well. Now, yeah, like I said, yeah, I am backtracking, but it's nice we're getting plenty of goodies along the way. Anyways, we are almost at our destination. I feel like I passed it. Probably not, I'm just hallucinating things. Yeah, I haven't passed it, I was just being silly. Alrighty, back through the blue gate. 
And then we're gonna head through here and take the elevator up. Watch we get past these delicious green pirates. Still hate them. Love mockballing in this game. It's really fast in this hack. Since your jump makes you move a lot quicker, you can only do a minor mockball and it'll still move really fast. So that's pretty nice. Anyways, back into the wind tower if I'm correct. Let me check our map. No, we're in the land deck. The land deck. But now that we're in this area, we couldn't go to because the game wants us to loop. Though even if it didn't, I would want to still get those power-ups, so... In the end, does it really matter? If you want to do a low percent run, maybe. That's really up to you. I don't like low percents. I always try to get as much percent in a Metroid-style game as I can. Because that's just how I roll. <laughs> Anyways... Before we couldn't go this way, but now we can, now that we have power bombs. Watch out, crumble blocks. Lots of bad things that don't want you to get any fun. Also, we have the blue gate. Tasty. And a power bomb expansion. Another delicious bomb added to our explosive repertoire. Samus's resume has got to be one hell of a resume. Includes blowing up planets, killing everything on them. Am I hired, sir? No. Alrighty, let's keep going. I've been babbling on too much. Alrighty, you have to use that guy to get up here. Watch out, this room is loaded with freaking spikes. Think there's enough of those, buddy? No, Tron has a hard on for that stuff. I don't, in general, have anything against spikes, but it's just bad artificial difficulty. It's like one of the no-nos when coming to making a game. Artificial difficulty. Oh, I'm gonna jack the boss's HP up to bazillion HP. I, uh, that'll be difficult. No, it's not. It's freaking tedious. Hey, just carefully make your way across those platforms, unless you want to go down to Spikeville there. Oh, by the way, all these platforms here are, uh, past these green ones are crumble blocks, so run! Or use your spring ball, whatever works. Ow! That wasn't nice. I think that was a Rio. Anyways, if we head on down here to the right, we'll land on one platform that isn't a crumble block and get a missile pack. It only gives us one. But we need all the ammo we can get. Alrighty, with the blue gate open, we can get our next upgrade finally, and that's the grapple beam. Or the grappling beam. Grapple beam sounds fine to me. Yay. We're badass. We can now shove our electric beam up people's butts. I forgot I had auto fire on. Let me turn that off. Because, yeah, I was actually playing uh, Retroid. He finally fixed that game. As fun as Retroid is, Ridley was an absolute pain in the ass to deal with. Because he was way too difficult. Thankfully, he has been nerfed, so that might be a future game I do. But I'd forget that right now. We have a request in some Hydelius to do. Alrighty, with the power bomb and uh, grapple beam, we can head through this door. Because there's something in here I definitely want. You'd be a fool to pass this up. Alrighty, let's let these clogged grip dudes, whatever, pull us through. And then make our way into this room. Alrighty, as you can see, there's an energy tank in here, but this grapple block is in our way. So in this game, it sort of has two functionalities. It acts as a key, and it uh, acts as a grapple hook. Though I really like that about Phase on 0.3. I have to agree with Baltus what he said. It's one of the reasons I really like that game, because, you know, I really liked using auto fire because it saves your controller from having to butt mash to shoot like this. And, uh, you didn't have to have the grapple beam normally because it was just a key in that game. It gave it a different purpose, meaning you had no choice but to get it. Rather, it just be a useless po power-up that becomes quickly useless. Well, it's not so useless in this game. I just don't like it in this 
hacking somewhat because of the new physics. It kind of makes grapple beaming harder. Anyways, that's the wrong way, Steel. We're gonna head back to our ship, and I'm gonna call it an episode. Because it looks like we're not gonna have enough time. Yeah, I don't want to go really over 15 minutes. I think 15 minutes is perfectly fine for these kinds of videos. I'm moving quick enough. <clears throat> Anyways, what's that next upgrade we're going to get? It's a nice one, I can tell you that. Also, we'll be fighting a boss, too. So what awaits us? What boss is it? What upgrade is it? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Metroid Hydelius.